Alright, just got done watching all eight episodes of Ancient Apocalypse, starring Graham Hancock. And also, there, there were a few cameos of a few people, like uh, Joe Rogan, and uh, let's see, a few other people. And in every episode, he goes to a different place. In different countries, he talks about history, and more importantly, he was talking about the prehistory world, which is very fascinating. I've always found it very fascinating. And you will find that scientists are not always going to be on the same page. And this is a good example, and even I'm not on the same page necessarily like as far as like dating methods go especially carbon dating what they may not tell you is there is different ways of dating things and there may be a limit to how far back you can go when you're dating things using carbon probably mostly carbon according to people like Ken Ham and uh, if you ask people, you may get different answers in regards to how it all works. If you if you ask Ken Ham something, he may say one thing. If you ask Bill Nye the Science Guy, he he may say a different thing. And you have to decide what to believe. Now, I just wanted to tell you that. Um, I find these things to be very, very interesting. I try to try to be very open-minded when I when I'm looking at these things, when I'm watching these things. They have um, like they discover these like these caves or these tunnels in different parts of the world, and um, I'm thinking about going through every episode. Maybe I'm gonna do that. Let me think about this. It might take a long time. Every episode is about 30 minutes. So it's about a total of 4 hours. Episode 1, Once There Was a Flood. It starts off with a an introduction to who is this guy with the glasses. Mr. Hancock. He wrote all these books. Magicians of the God. Fingerprints of the God. Heaven's Mirror. And there's the guy. He's the narrator. He's the star. And he was on Joe Rogan. Fingerprints of the gods. There's that guy. He kind of looks like a snake. There's that guy. What's he doing? He's on some kind of, I don't know, something high. Looks like a dragon. I can't believe I'm on a boat. Underwater. Caves. Star Wars. No laughing matter. Fun. It's that guy. Your girlfriend. Criticism. Episode 1. Part 1, I mean. Part 1. Once there was a flood. So, the theory is, the end of the Ice Age was around 9600 BC. That's right, 9600. And uh, then they started doing farming. Java the Hutt. My mind just goes back to the early days of, uh, of the internet in the 90s with JavaScript. And Java the Hutt from Star Wars. And, uh, and, uh, pizza. Uh, what was it? Pizza? I don't know why. I'm sorry, I have to apologize. I hesitate when I try to read the, the date, 9600 BC. I, I don't know how old the world is. Is it only a few thousands of years? 10,000, 20,000, millions, billions? I don't know, but I tell you what, it's, it's difficult, it's difficult to, to go back. They say, some people say, carbon has some kind of predictable decay rate. And I'm not here to tell you that I know everything, but you can prove me wrong. But that's what some people have said. Carbon has a decay rate, and if you go back a certain number of years, you can't go back that far. Because the carbon wouldn't be there anymore because based on the rate of how fast it's decaying, unless if you got a lot of it or something, it's not going to be there. 
So you got a sample and you're like, well, here's my sample and it's been decaying, but I think this is how old it is. But it decays, it falls apart after a while. I mean, that's, a, that's something that, that I've been told, that I've been taught. And it could be wrong, but you can prove me wrong. But according to some scientists, you can only date some things only so far. Only a certain number of years. I don't know how many years. So now he's at this place probably around Indonesia. It looks like the remains of something. I'm Dr. Ali. Here's what it probably looked like a long time ago. It reminds me of something I saw in the Bible. Some kind of altar. Ooh. Temographic. Well look at that stuff underground. And, uh, they're dating it. Sunderland. Long time ago. The, the sea level. The ocean level was lower. There was a lot of ice up high. Towards the North Pole. Towards San Claus. So the land. The land was. There was more land. The water was lower. And there was more land. And so this is underneath India. And Vietnam. And Cambodia. And China. And Asia in general. And so it's like people could walk down towards what is now Indonesia and, and possibly although all the way to Australia, I don't know, but um but that's that's apparently what it looked like according to what the sea levels might have been at that time. Twenty two thousand BC. Rawr. Water started coming up. And then there you got it. You see Asia up there. There are these stories or myths or legends of a world flood. All around the world, different cultures would have these stories of a world flood. It wasn't just something that you saw in the Bible. Ooh la la, a family. Ooh, story of an ark. A guy coming out of a fish. A guy. People all crying and there's like a boat and then another boat. Look at that, a samurai on a boat. Fighting a dragon? Babylonians. Oh, yeah. Joe. Hang on. Dragon reminds me of a Bart Simpson game for the early 90s on the Nintendo on a skateboard on the wall of China. Stranger in a time of chaos. You would think this is a Michael Jackson song. It's not, it's not, it's not. It's not a Michael Jackson song. Stranger in Moscow, no. Stranger in Chaos, episode 2. Ludicrous. Not a singer. Part 2, Survival in a Time of Chaos. Chocololo in Mexico. Nice building. But what's underneath? Ooh, could it be a really big pyramid? And here's what it looks like now. This is very fascinating because it's like, how many things are buried? How many times do you look at a mountain and you're like, is that just a mountain or is there something underneath that mountain? Did it used to be a building that got buried? Like this thing. It looks like a hill. It looks like a mountain. But... Perhaps it was something like a pyramid, a building from long ago. And if you dig into it, or if you have any equipment that can detect what is inside the ground, then you can determine and you can see it with the technology that you got. Tunnels, almost like Egypt. And all these tunnels are very interesting because I want to know how many tunnels are there, how many are connected. Well, some of them are, perhaps all of them, perhaps many of them are connected, like the tunnels and the caves and the taverns and the cavities. So it's like some of it's like from 300, but then there was something underneath that that was even older from 500 BC. Flashback to Indonesia, reference to the Great Pyramid, but could this one in Mexico be bigger? Yeah, yeah, what about this one? Is this one bigger than the Great Pyramid? It was reported that the Great Pyramid in Mexico had many mines. Great Pyramid of Giza or Giza. Oh, geez. El Dajin spiritual ideas. Ziggurat of Ur uh, in Iraq. Ooh, this is interesting. Some people wonder could this be the Tower of Babel or could another building be the Tower of Babel? I cannot say. If, if the Bible is correct and if the Bible says that the the building was destroyed, then it was totally destroyed. Unless if like maybe some of it got underground, like buried. 
it really depends on whether or not you know what is true and what does it actually say like in regards to like the Bible and other ancient documents Indiana Jones if he was fat Pyramid of Kukulero Help me mommy Look at all that Look at this I can't believe it's not butter Oh no it's the nutcracker Ooh la la Legends say that something terrible happened like maybe like a flood and then afterwards people came these smart wise men came from the ocean from the sea and they came to to taste the people how to rebuild how to do stuff how to grow crops farms gardening all that kind of stuff and other things too I imagine how to rebuild civilization colorful Indians it's like who are these people is it God is it wise people from a lost civilization from long ago coming in to uh, to help people were they aliens was it was it God was it the Greek gods was it Aliens, was it a ghost? About people free. Hey there, Mulan. Sakasasi Human, Peru. Look at that. It's like an airbender. Indians. Oh, they might be trying to raise up the ground. Like maybe they were taught how to how to pick up the pick up the ground out of the out of the ocean and raise them up. Or so says the the myth. So Alo Ko. Wow, look at all that. Reminds me of Indiana Jones five. Uh, the what I call it? What do you what do you call that? A skull? The the legend of the skull or something? The the golden skull or something weird like that with aliens? It's just trying to tell a story. A weird old guy. You know, it's like this guy has like no nose. It's like a ancient Michael Jackson. Ooh. Demonic. Thank you for coming. I'm drowning and I can't get up. Ancient Steve Echo. Serious Rising episode three. It's Dexter trying to bury a a body. Serious. Rising. Oh no, why are they wearing masks? Stop it. Sicily. Malta. Or we're going to Malta. Okay. Crazy. So Rising. It's like a Metal Gear title. Metal Gear Rising. Civilization going back to at least 5900. Oh my god, I love you. Gigantetizia. J.A. Joey Arnold. It's Java's Palace. As to Ubla. Oh, I forgot to say. Spoiler alert. And I'm totally it's like... Making fun of this show, even though I like it. Alta. App. Flashback. Pocahontas. There's a legend of, like, a guy having... Having a baby. Making a baby with a giant girl. A giant. And Mr. Hancock's like, Oh, I don't believe in giants. I do, because there's, like, a lot of books that talk about it. There's a lot of evidence that talks about it. But never mind. He's just like, Ooh, I'm a, I'm a scientist guy. I don't believe in... In... in giants. Lesson says, maybe these giants build some of these massive old. Back in the day, it wasn't an island. It was a delta. It was a peninsula like Florida. And then the sea level rose. And what is this? God alarm like a, like a cave or something? And then they talk about this, like these teeth from the anthropologues or whatever they're called, like ancient humans and I kind of disagree about that because that gets into the the ideas of like oh the humans evolved from apes and stuff was I don't agree with but they're all going off that and off like dinosaurs uh, getting extinct uh, like millions of years ago like 65 millions of years ago you know like I don't I don't buy that I don't buy it but if you want to like not question the narrative then you can just like go along with the dinosaur narrative because it's like literally this guy right here this guy with the old old guy with the glasses he's like he's like you he gotta question the narrative but then he goes along with the narrative like oh dinosaurs got extinct millions of years ago even though it's like humans actually lived alongside of dinosaurs there's evidence of that but he's not talking about it Maybe he doesn't want to talk about it, or he doesn't know. Maybe I should have started the this video with all of that controversy, because that would have made this video more 
impactful. But I, I, I wasn't totally confident that I would go this deep into all of this. And there's more where that comes from. Because I'm very invested in history. And I would love to know, like, where are all the the holes, the cavities, and the, and the tunnels, and the caves, and everything in the ground all around the world? Is the world flat? Is it hollow? What is it exactly? I don't know. Probably round or something. But, you know, I, I still want to know, like, what's inside of it? That's one of the things I want to know. I got, like, a million questions about everything. But, like, having a map of, like, all the holes would be great, especially if there's a problem and I need to go find a hole. I'd probably go for the whatever one is closest to me, wherever I am in the world. Menagedra. Hello. It's a call. Down here is UK, Outlander, Time Travel. Good show. You ever see that? You ever see that show? Outlander. See, the girl goes to one of these, probably this one in the UK, and she's like, there was like a, there was like some kind of ritual. These people like dance around and then, and then they do a special thing and then she tosses the stone heads and time travels back 200 years or something. Falls in love. Mafia overlord. Found all these different structures on the island facing, spoiler alert, I gotta say spoiler alert, it's like one of those stars, one of these, what was the name of the star? Like a very famous bright star like the brightest star not a planet but a star are you serious that one star was serious the dark star as in dog coin as in elon musk and twitter and 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 skylink and and mars and dog dog coin dog coin the dog coin the dog star i got him more wah 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 work hard for the money my face exploded the morgan Oogie, oh woo. Uba. Legend says these these gods come out of nowhere and and help civilization rebuild because they were like so uncivilized. Or they came by sea to come help the people do some fire. Wilson, Wilson, fire. It's Tom Hanks in Castaway. I've created fire for Beavis and Butthead. Can't believe I'm on a boat. Hi, I'm from the U.S. government and I'm here to help you. Oh no, Ronald Reagan. Under the sea. Part 4. Ghost of a drowned world. Under the world. Under the sea. 40 leagues under the sea. 60 miles away from the coast of Florida. East of Miami. Mimini. Jurassic Park. Lost world. No, not that kind of lost world. Could it be the lost city of Atlantic? Some people believe so. Other people believe not so. And perhaps not really. Ah. Enigma sounds like the name of a of a of a villain in in Batman's Gotham. Women. So they're they like swimming. Mr. Hancock's down there. They they see these like boulders. They're leveled with like small rocks under them. And it's like it couldn't have happened naturally. Like rocks under the big rocks. It's like a road to Atlantic. Atlantis, like the city of Atlantis, or something. Looks like a road. It's like two roads, or something. probably looked like this a long time ago. Bahama Island, perhaps. It used to be a lot bigger a long time ago. I find this be to be very intriguing. Looking at old maps, where they have, like, they have, uh, like the North Pole. They have Antarctica. Uh, did I say in the North Pole? Maybe in the North Pole, but also Antarctica. And they say it wasn't discovered in, until, like, later on. But then, like, the older maps have them, which means that it was passed on. Because, like, on some of these older maps from, like, the 1500s and older, like, some of them say that they were based on even older maps. But then they would combine them with the with the current explorations of the time and it was like so it was like a combination of like maps that they would 
you know, put everything together into one big master map. And sometimes these maps would be missing parts. And this is it's really interesting. I need to collect a bunch of old maps. Look at this map. Look at all these creatures. What in the world is that? A world map. Look at that. Is that like, is that, what, like these creatures are like dancing. Part of the map is missing. And the map looks like, and like, it looks just like what could have been, you know, like, it's right next to Florida. Like, what, uh, what was it again? Cuba? That's what it looks like. Some people are like, oh, that's just like a part of South America. And other people are like, no, that part of the map at the bottom is, that's Antarctica. You know, the city of Atlantic. I mean, Atlantis. And like a mighty military. Like, a, what do they call that? A marine? Navy? The city of Atlantis is uh, uh, based on, I mean, the oldest, the oldest story uh, that is based on is, I mean, uh, based on the writings of Plato. So Plato had a grandfather who who went to Egypt in 600 BC, and these wise men, or whatever they were, told him, "Oh yeah, the city of Atlantis got destroyed 9,000 years ago." So it's like 9,600. BC was just just so happens to be around the time like there was like supposedly uh, some kind of ice age and disaster. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say grandfather? How did how did I get that wrong? So according okay, according to this okay, uh, so it's like okay, so Plato has the, has like an ancestor who went to Egypt in what was it, 500 or 600? Okay, 600 BC, the ancestor, like an ancestor guy of Plato goes to a temple and the priests in Egypt are like, oh, there's a lost civilization, the city of Atlantis. It got destroyed 9,000 years ago, 9,600 BC. It's Mr. Hancock from a long time ago. Brought to you by the letter I. Look at all that under the dome. Epic. Historic. Part 5. Legacy of the Sages. Almost time for Thanksgiving. I want a turkey. Mesopotamia. Summer. No, it's winter. I can't believe I'm on a boat. I'm on a rock. Wait, no, it's fall. It's a weird bird from Mario 2. Could be as old as 1960. 1960? What am I saying? 9600 BC. Some of these old buildings are designed to like look at the sky in order to be like, okay, what's going on, and is it going to happen again? Are there going to be, like, things falling from the sky, comets, asteroids, whatever, hitting us, destroying us, destroying the dinosaurs millions of years ago, maybe not millions of years ago, you know, like, is it going to happen to us? Did it happen to us, like, 10,000 years ago, 12,000 years ago, killing many humans, and then maybe some of them survived? Was there a flood? Was there fire? comments i mean like it's not a question of was there a flood was there this was there that it's more of a question of like how many survivors were there just eight or more like did it happen in different places did it happen at di different times these big global events what are the evidences go back to tepe 8500 BC using like sonar or, or whatever like they find out there's other like underground things that they find that's down there that they haven't dug up yet old, old guy like looking at the entrance I said tom toma tomato tomato I know most tell me oh I said it right the first time people fighting oh no worse than Lord of the Rings here comes this changes the wise man Going around the world on boats to save the world. The cavemen. So easy a caveman can do it. The magicians. Zodiac. The Greek gods. That's right. Watch out for the Zodiac killer. Olmex. Tolex. Tol Toltex? Toltex? It's like, is that something related to Indians? Are these Tolton? Uh, to what do they call them? Totem poles? Uh, isn't that something that the Indians have? Or... 
Were they there before the Indians were there? There's the bird. It looks like perhaps some of these, some of these things you find are like, they, well, they correlate with the, um, with astrology, astronomy, I mean, astrology, the, the, the zodiacs, the constellations. Like here's, what is this? Scorpion. And it could be like a date that is like trying to tell you you know, like, on this date, something happened, or something's going to happen, based on the date, and it's like, so it's like, on the stone, it's like, it's telling a story, and it's trying to, trying to tell you, based on the constellations, the stars in the sky. Scorpion, three birds, using technology to find out an exact date, based on, like, the, uh, the possible alignment of the constellations to the to the buildings I uh, wilderness a red moon I mean not the red moon we had that uh, like a week ago I mean the red sun but these things might be monuments not just like ordinary buildings but monuments just like the Abraham Lincoln monument America bridge room part six America's lost Civilization. This is very interesting because I live in America and I want to like just dig it up and every time I dig a hole, I'm just going to want to go deep in. And if there's like civilizations and I mean, I mean, like if they've left some stuff in the ground, like a, a mile in or so, it's like wow, a mile in. If you dig a mile into the earth, you may find caves and tunnels and cavities and God knows what. But then, you know, think about it. If you go even even deeper, perhaps there's even more things down there. I mean, a mile is, is deep enough. I mean, you don't even have to go a mile. Like, let's say 200 feet. That's a lot. 200 feet is a lot. Dig 200 feet down, what are you going to find? And imagine a mile. But then imagine something even deeper. That's only the surface Think going down, like imagine going down many, many miles. Poverty point. Here we are in North America, in the United States, between Louisiana and Mississippi and Arkansas. The Mississippi River. Oh, now it's starting to sound like Ozark. The sidewalk that goes up like uh, many, many feet, hundreds of feet. Uh, I don't know, maybe 100, 200 feet. Not exactly sure. It, is there something underneath the ground? Is it just dirt? Are you trying to say like you know it's not just dirt? Because it could be just like a hill, just an ordinary hill. But for some reason, this guy's like, well, it's special because of the of the alignment and everything. But outside of that, is there any evidence? This is what it probably looked like a long time ago. Louisiana stout guy. Instant Mound Trail. Now this sign may be wrong. He's like, it may be older. It's about a little guy. Hands, UK. Jubilee Depe, Illinois. Akuchi, Jersey. FZ Mound. Serpent Bound. Looks like a serpent. It's about a little guy. It's like a snake. Serpent Round Bound. Me Mound. These people wear masks. They kick him out. That's a terrible thing for them to do. Mr. Wilson. I knew a guy named Seth Wilson and went to his house. Tail and the, and the neck aligned. Ice age 10,800 BC. We're going hiking now, we're on our way. North American ice. The ice land was engulfing America and, and Mexico. Did I say Mexico? I mean Canada. Yeah, dragons. Story time. Stars. Part 7 of Fatal Wonder. Dragons. The right quick you. Here is an example of some of the caves, some of the taverns, some of the, the bunkers that the people have made over the years, like in the past, like thousands of years ago. Like, look at all this. It's like an ant hill community, human size. So big. So massive. It's like... It's like Robin Williams as as Peter Pan going to Neverland as an adult and discovering a tribe of people in tree houses. I try to guess how old these caves might be and some are like, oh, maybe the Christians made them, but maybe not. 
because other people lived in them too before. Bow and air. Of course. Cappadocia. Really old religion. Is it really older than uh, the Jews? Unveilai. Kumbaya. Looking at the sky. Going into caves and tunnels and everything. Trying to survive from the. You know, the, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, because the sky is falling. Like, oh no, everybody goes seven. The, uh, the comets, the asteroids are like, they look like flying dragons. I mean, it's like, okay, I mean, I think dragons already fly, but like, imagine seeing a, seeing a dragon that's really, really far away. What would it look like? Would it look like a dragon? Fingerprints to a lot of civilization. Alignment. Part A. Catalyzm and rebirth. This is the um, the last episode, last part so far. Unless if there's more coming for this, for the season or for a, a second season. Called Scablands. These places are really big. He hangs out with uh, the one guy. Kind of reminds me of the Grand Canyon. So it's like there's a bunch of ice and it melted or something. Maybe an asteroid or something. A comet. Caused it to melt all of a sudden and then started pouring in and created these giant rivers like the Grand Canyon. Except here it's like, it's like around uh, eastern Washington and Idaho and Montana. This guy, Randall Carlson. Not to be confused with Tucker Carlson. There's a bunch of ice up there towards the North Pole. And all over Canada, and they must have melted. It must have got warmer because the temperature goes up and down. And I hope YouTube doesn't take down this video, but you know, it's like it is what it is. It caused all these like rivers and lakes. Like you got ice and it melts. So look at all this, and you got all this, and you got all that, and he's talking to the guy, and all this stuff's happening in the water. And look at the water, and he's like talking to the guy, and he's like, oh, what is this? And, uh, like, look at that, and he's like, yeah, I don't know what's happening, man, it's like, it's so cool, and it's like, wow, look at that, it looks like that, look, look, wow, look at this, what is that, a serpent, it's like, a, no, it's a dragon, it's like, wow, wait, what is this, wow, look at that, it looks like a green candy, man, it's like, so cool, and so incredible, like, wow, I hope this is not copyrighted, how many years back does it go, so many years, it's like, so cool, so great, this is like the last episode, he's talking to this guy, Murray Springs, what, what state is this, I don't remember, the Allen West, I see you talking to him, like, oh no, like, discovered, 1967, oh wow, look at that, and, uh, look at the layers, and it's like, oh no, the, it, it was caused because of the, it was like hot, like, oh, why was it hot, maybe because it was like a comet, spoiler alert, this guy, I think I knew a guy like that, a couple guys, so it's like, so the rocks were hot, the layers were hot because of the, like, because the comet, maybe not the comet hitting the earth, but like the the, the fragment, fragments, fragments, just like parts of it fell down. And then this is all the places where we found, though they found um, stuff like that, layers like that, due to the um, like comets, like asteroids hitting the earth, like fragments of them, fragments of the comet, or a bunch of comets hitting them uh, all over the earth and there you go talking to that guy again Carlson and talking about this and trying to figure things out and uh, then the surprise of this episode at the end I, I here here is a summary of the series so far a little bit and talking to this guy, who's this guy? Martin Sweatman. And uh, going through it. And uh, the bird. And talking to this guy again. Uh, and then this is the surprise talking to Joe Rogan. And that's basically how it ends. And like, I thought the overall appeal of the series is really interesting. I may disagree with some of the details. I may be a little skeptical, but I try to be open-minded and I found this to be interesting. So there's always more where that came from because I love history.